Yo, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here. Just getting wrapped up with my Forbidden Light pre-releases. Went to two pre-releases. Haven't gotten too much crazy stuff from those yet, but I got, this is probably my last, you know, non-Forbidden Light digital pack opening. So we're going to get cracking on these. I've got 50 packs of Ultra Prism. See what we can add to my digital collection today. I haven't, if anybody's been watching the competitive channel, I have not been doing too much PTCGO action lately. I've been really excited about getting these Forbidden Light decks in action, specifically the Ultra Necrozma deck. I feel like it is just so much fun to play. It's very reminiscent of that Electric deck. I love playing Electric decks as well. That card from Noble Victories is so cool. So I've been doing a lot of tabletop games lately, been doing a lot of pre-release coverage, so it's a little refreshing to switch gears and dive back into Ultra Prism one more time before I'm sure, you know, for the next couple months, it's going to be Forbidden Light everything. So that is super awesome. I was actually able to get my hands on three copies of Ultra Necrozma as well from the Darium's Thousand Pack opening. If you haven't checked out that Darium's Thousand Pack opening yet, go ahead and check that out. Escape board. Uh, go ahead and check that out. That is an awesome video. Both Natalie and Riley were over this past weekend to help me out with that escape board to, uh, to help with that thousand packer. So that was an awesome, awesome experience as well. And now that we've got that thousand packs, we're really starting to kind of dive in and see what Forbidden Light is doing. Hey, we got a super boost energy. Really diving in and seeing kind of what this new set is all about. I really do like some of the new prism cards in it. I think they look fantastic. I did a top 10 artwork of Ultra Prism video last, I mean, for this last set. Maybe I could go and do, we got a Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. Maybe I could go ahead and do something like that for the new set Forbidden Light as well. I think there is a lot of great artwork. I really do like that Ultra Necrozma. Oh my gosh, look at that. We've got a full art, Lily. That is an incredible looking card. I have one of these in real life. The cool thing about the digital one though is that I don't bend this one in half when I shuffle it. So this is awesome. I love this card, so cool. This thing has been getting pretty pricey lately as well. I think it's up around the 30 to $40 range. So this is an awesome, awesome hit. Great inclusion for the digital collection. Gosh, what a crazy hit. That full art, Lily, looking so sweet. Uh, I'm going to be doing a montage again of all the hits at the end of this video. That was a lot of fun last time I did it. So I'm going to be like chopping them up. So you guys at the end of the video will be able to review all the stuff that I did hit during this 50 pack opening. So if you want to just skip to the end and see what we ended up getting for the digital collection, you could do that as well. Uh, tonight, man, I am so excited. We got pizza on the way. Actually, I'm not sure if I'll be able to even get this video done before the pizza gets here. The pizza might get here. I got some friends over there. I got like Natalie, Riley, and Matt Price all out there. And Sean Lydon. Shout out to Sean Lydon. He helped me with some videos as well this weekend and filmed a pretty fun pre-release tabletop game if you want to check that out. Rainbow Rare Circuitry. That is a nuts looking card. Awesome hit there. Love the Rainbow Rare Ultra Beast cards. These are insane, insane, insane Pokemon. Love that Circuitry GX. Awesome hit. But yeah, so Sean helped me out uh, with the with the tabletop game. That was pretty fun. Just doing these pre-release Palkia. Doing these pre-release, um, these pre-release tabletops has been a lot of fun as well. It's like it's a great experience to kind of mix up the pace of play and play Pokemon that just don't really get too much attention during other parts of the season. Obviously, you know, Pokemon like uh, Vivillian. Oh my gosh, we got a Duskmane Necrozma. That is amazing. Duskmane Necrozma GX. Awesome stuff. I don't think I have like a play set of these online yet. So that is an amazing addition there. And talking about just amazing looking Pokemon cards. This thing's awesome. But that's part of what I love about the new Ultra Necrozma GX from Forbidden Light as well. I love that it's got this kind of like crazy golden spiky look to it. Kind of looks like a supersonic Pokemon. Or oh, back to back. Got that Sil Valley GX. Can't have enough Sil Valley GX. Oh my goodness. I probably have tons of Sil Valley GX on the account right now.
but a so valley 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 on to the next one all right so I really love the Ultra Necrozma. I feel like the Ultra Necrozma is just like one of the coolest looking cards out of the new set. I also do love those Secret Rare Mysterious Treasure and the Secret Rare B-String though. Both of those are incredible looking cards as well. They just both just, they're just so stunning to look at when you're like looking through your deck. I do love the way that the Unit Energy, I think all those gold cards pretty much look am amazing. The Frying Pan, the Unit Energy. I was stunned when I actually opened the Energy Recycler during that thousand pack opening. I think Full Art Leafeon, Breath of the Leaves. Look at that thing, beautiful Leafeon GX. Another one added to the collection, sweet stuff. I cannot wait to start cracking the new set on PTCGO, see if I can get, I think, just the, the Full Art Palkia. The fuck? <laughs> uh, there's a Palkia, more Palkia. I've got tons of Palkia from the new set, tons of Palkia from the old set, no. Bro. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, uh, we're just gonna, dude, now I'm being taunted because I'm just saying how much Palkia we've opened. But, dude, at this point, I've opened so many Palkia that it's just like I do not need any more Palkia. And then I have nothing to do with the Palkia. I, could trade, I can't even trade them off. There's not a very high demand for the Palkia. I just got tons and tons and tons of Palkia. And imagine if all those Palkia were something good. That'd be awesome. I mean, I could build a skateboard. I could build like a sweet, I don't know, maybe I should just build a Palkia deck where I just have like some water Palkia, some dragon, just Palkia, like just some Palkia troll deck. Just it's a skateboard. Uh, since I seem to be just, you know, getting hounded by Palkias all the time. I cannot even escape them. What is that? Like my third Palkia in this opening has been totally totally crazy but lily's awesome i cannot wait to open forbidden light though i think forbidden light is just gonna be cynthia is gonna be a lot of fun like i said the full art necrozma i think the full art ultra necrozma it's just an amazing looking card and i also skateboard i also love the diancy prism I think that's an incredible looking card as well. Even the Volcanian Prism, I think, is super sweet. Now, obviously, Greninja, not my favorite Pokemon. I know. Look at that, Celesteela GX. That thing is awesome. Love the full art Ultra Beast Pokemon. They look incredible. Sweet addition to the collection. They are great if I ever want to build some sort of various metal decks with different tech type attackers in them celesteel is cool because it's got a huge amount of hit points for a basic and also has that sweet alternative weakness so it's not weak to fire that is really really awesome but like i was saying really want to get those new new cards added to my collection i'm not super excited about the fact that forbidden light does have all those reprints in them it's a little bit escape board. And also, like, probably the worst thing about Forbidden Light is that there's no skateboarding cards. I mean, goodness, what am I going to do? There's no escape board in Forbidden Light. So, like, I mean, I, I guess it's just like, you know, I mean, that, that excitement is, like, I'm not going to be opening as many skateboards from now on. So, like, that it's, like, got me down a little bit. I don't think there's any card that I want to like mass collect out of Forbidden Light. I think I'm just gonna keep mass collecting escape boards, see what I could do. Speaking of collecting, I got a few new additions to my collection from the League Cup this weekend. Guys, this stuff, Glaceon GX. Look at that thing, beautiful Glaceon GX. Amazing looking card, that is awesome. Love Glaceon GX, great addition to my collection. Great way to top off this video, Glaceon, nice. But I got myself a few, uh, a few uh, hit cards over the weekend at the League Cup. Sean, oh my gosh, look at that. Dawn Wings Necrozma, oh my gosh, that thing is insane. Oh, that's crazy. Rainbow Rare Full Art Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. That thing is going to go amazing in my new Malamar deck as soon as Forbidden Light drops. I'm going to get to play this thing. I am so stoked about that. So stoked. That is an awesome hit. Awesome, awesome, awesome hit. But I've got some real life cards uh, that I bought 
at the In The Zone Games in Ashtabula. It was an amazing run tournament. Great. I didn't participate. I went just to look for old cards uh, because the, the guy who owns the store, Chris, awesome dude, he has a great collection. Escape hard. He has a great collection of old cards that my buddy Sean and I wanted to pick through. And we ended up making kind of a big bulk purchase on some real heavy hitter old cards that I'm going to show off to you guys momentarily here because I want to get them PSA graded. So these cards are crazy expensive for me. I spent more on these cards than I've ever spent on Pokemon cards in my life. It felt really, really rough. But I'm kind of looking at it like this is a long-term investment. I'm, you know, kind of like a business decision. I'm kind of investing into these cards because I think that they have some longevity. So kind of think of it almost like a savings account. I'm going to escape board. I'm going to, you know, kind of just I dropped on these cards. I'm going to get them graded. And then I'm going to put them away for a little while. Hopefully their value appreciates over time. Hopefully their value increases over time. And then, you know, maybe I'll be able to put a nice down payment on a house one day or something using these cards. So that's it for the hits. First, I want to show off my cards that I picked up at the Ashtabula League Cup here. So I'm going to go grab those off my shelf real quick. And check these out. Oh my gosh, I've got them in top loaders. I'm really excited to send these away to PSA. A lot of these things are super minty. The first card I got is the Shining Gyarados Japanese. And it's got, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's got this like amazing kind of like sparkle hollow to it. I've got the camera like fixed right now, but you can kind of see it's got that, that grainy sparkle sparkle hollow to it that looks amazing i'm really excited about this card in particular it is super minty hoping that maybe i can get a psa 10 on that also picked up this shining mewtwo in japanese i really love these shining cards from the from the neo sets i think these are like some of my favorite cards ever printed i really really love these shining cards so i'm starting like a small collection of these i'm psa grading them all and i'm just going to put them like in a safe and just you know not touch them for a little while so that as well i've also got an English Shining Gyarados. I had to pick this one up as well. It's got a little ding, like uh, just like a little scratch on the front of the hollow here. It's uh, It looks like it could even just be a printing error. I'm not exactly sure how it happened. So it's not like mint, mint condition, but it is otherwise like the card is like pristine other than the one little speck on the front of the card that's there, but still excited to pick that one up as well. Sean forced me to pick up this first edition. Lugia told me that this would be a great investment as well. This card was just, uh, you know, it was a good deal. We got a good deal on it, so I'm gonna grade it, and hopefully this thing appreciates over time as well. Then we got two first edition Blaine's Charizards. This card has been going up lately. It is a super cool card, and both of these are really, really minty. So I was excited to pick these up. I'm going to grade them. Hopefully if I can hit tens on these guys, these are big heavy hitters and you know, are cards that Charizard's first edition Charizard's things like this just are very hard to come by, especially in mint condition. So going to put those away and hopefully their value goes up over time. And that's it. I also, well, okay. I got this one little VS hollow VS series Sneasel. This is not a very expensive card, but it is uh, just really cool. And Sneasel is like my favorite Pokemon. And I'd never seen the Sneasel before, especially a holographic one. I love the e-reader cards, love Sneasel. So this was just a no-brainer for me to pick up as well. Anyways, we're going to get on with the montage so you guys can see all the hits that we got out of this digital pack opening. Let's check it out. Hey, we got a super boost energy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Rainbow rare circuitry. Palkia. Oh my gosh. Hey, so valley, 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 so valley. Full art Leafeon. Palkia. Bro. Look at that. Celesteela GX. Laceon GX. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Dawn Wings Necrozma. And that's it for our Ultra Prism 50 digital online packs of Ultra Prism. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub the channel, check out dariums.com in the description below. Peace.